The most requested video in most of my comments is finally here. After two weeks of scripting, getting clips together and editing them, I bring to you not only 10 tips and tricks, but I went ahead and I documented 100 tips and tricks useful for all players from beginners to advanced. Everything you need to know to get better at Farlight 84 and beyond. Shout out to some of my friends for helping me with this video. I'll leave, I'll make sure to leave their social in the description. So wildlings, uh, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Did you guys know that as a mobile player, you can actually enter PC lobbies? All you have to do is invite a friend that's from Steam into your pre-lobby and enter a game and that would be a PC filled lobby. The third person aspect in Farlight does not act like every other game because of the fact that you have jetpacks, which allows you to surprise your enemies who are actually hiding behind windows or a door. So make sure you utilize your jet boosters efficiently. When in buildings, try not to take the stairs because you never know if there's a guy waiting for you at the end of it. So actually shoot out of the window into the roof to for a surprise attack. You'll see these grand boosters all, all over Carnival. Make sure you use your horizontal boost before you get onto them so you can actually shoot yourself much further forward. Believe it or not, but crouch spamming is actually extremely effective in this game. Air strafing is a thing in Firelight, so apply it when you can. Instead of mantling the windows, use your jetpack to enter through them. Time your air time correctly to enter windows on second floors and beyond for a surprise attack. If you tap spam the guns or flames on vehicles, it will actually last so much longer. Avoid landing slow by using your jetpack just before you land. If you're a sweaty player, land in Carnival. If you want to play a little passive, then this is an extremely hot spot, so I would recommend avoiding it to get more points. Sunil and Nagi are the two heroes best suited for escape ability and survivability because of their unique skills. And they are also best for solo queue if you want that challenge. Crouching does make you move slow, but it erases and removes all indicators on the map, so your enemies won't even see you coming, especially if you're trying to revive your teammates. Jump spamming is a very crucial and effective way to actually avoid bullets and win more gunfights, so try to include it in your movements. I see a lot of players only using the horizontal boosters, but, but the upwards booster actually makes you go faster. It will actually close the distance when you are when you're trying to get out of the zone or move forward, so make sure to use both. When you're in gunfights, don't use the horizontal jetpack both in the same direction. Actually try going left or right, then back or front when being shot at. Make it harder for your enemies to hit you. The spider, air beast and flamethrower vehicles are the fastest vehicles in the game so use them more often. Young's scout ultimate can be used from an insane distance so don't be shy to pop it even if you're far away. Ember and Lucinda's ultimate can be destroyed just shoot the core in the middle. You can actually shoot a duck side when he pops his shield just aim for his feet. The jump pads for Young and Sunil can be destroyed so keep that in mind. You can actually bait players using Momo's care package or you can use it as cover whenever needed. If you slightly aim upwards on any vehicle you'll actually land more headshots on players riding it and you'll for sure get a knock. Bow's skills are best utilized inside buildings for maximum damage. We made it to tip 25. If you've enjoyed the tips so far please don't forget to hit that like and sub button. Let's continue the video. And it's true that Captain water gun has been nerfed so most people now use him for his, for his dome since the cooldown is short it is more spammable and usable whenever you want sienna's ultimate reviving skill can revive teammates no matter the distance even if your friend is down away just activate duck side still remains as the best defense hero because of his ultimate shield ability and his ultimate has one of the fastest cooldowns so you can use it more often lucinda's ultimate can still pull players through obstacles and walls mk could be the best offensive legend because of his unlimited ammo skills and jetpack reset after assists. Most of the Momo players use her for her passive ability that allows you and your teammates to heal and shield.
healed up so much faster. Keep in mind that Phantom only goes invisible if she's standing still or crouching after using her ultimate, so don't run and jump when activated. So Nail's ultimate gives you a damage boost and speed boost and if you have an MKR in the team, that is almost the perfect duo to shred and start chaos against your enemy. Cypher's ultimate has to land dead center or close enough to the enemy for it to work, but when it does, it actually breaks their shield, stops them from using jetpacks and shields. So in the right hand, Cypher can be extremely deadly. Watchman's cooldown for the turret is extremely fast, so pop it every time you get it because it slows enemies down and it inflicts mega damage. The training ground is, is a perfect way to improve and adjust your aim to win more battles, so use it more often. Always keep in mind guys, prioritize high grounds in early fights or end zone fights because in almost all battle royales, whoever has the high ground, it has a higher chance of winning that gunfight. Get to the care package first or wait a good distance to ambush your enemies in the at the right time. Open your map and target the shield icons around the map and level up your shield to mythic as soon as possible. Guys, get used to running without a weapon in hand because it makes you run so much faster. And some weapons like the Bar 95 sniper makes you run extremely slow. Always prioritize leveling up your weapons faster by knocking enemies and finding weapon XP's around the map. Level up your hero to get all of the perks before end game by finding a hero XP around the map. If you have a knocked teammate and you're communicating with him through the mic, you can start reviving him and move together in the same direction and the revive process will not stop. Keep in mind guys, when you open a care package, a red beam will shoot to the sky alerting or showing your enemies at your location. It is unfortunate the aim assist is very strong, but you can use it to your advantage. If you ADS spam, you'll lock onto your target and knock him fast. Play TDM and solo one versus one mode to gain more gold to unlock all the heroes that you want. Get used to the hunt mode, it will give you a lot more gold if you keep going for the first extraction points. So you don't need to complete everything just as soon as the extraction points is there, just head for it and end the game. City Plaza and Carnival are the hottest drops in both maps. If you want to get sweaty, go there. But if you want to play more passive and actually earn points, then avoid those spots. Keep in mind that Sienna's revive drone can be destroyed, so if you shoot it, it will actually disappear. They have recently added the hold to ADS button, so make sure it's enabled in the setting. Not a lot of players know this, but the, but the gyroscope slightly increases the aim assist, so start using it if you can. We made it to 50 tips and tricks, guys. I promise you, the ones coming up is even better. So don't forget to hit that like and sub button. When dropping, make sure you loot a green shield before you rush your enemies, because it doesn't take much to kill you without it. I know a lot of players complain about randoms because they don't help or listen. Just stick to them because they won't stick to you, and keep track of them on the map. Team chemistry is important, especially when playing with randoms, so see what heroes that they pick, then choose accordingly. Make sure to read and know your hero's skills before getting into combat, so you can put them in good use. Always try to communicate with your teammates by using voice chat or the ping button on your HUD. Prioritize taking the rooftop in buildings when you're scouting or engaging against an enemy. Find ways to cover your, mate, your teammates when they are in the process of reviving someone else. Before entering a tournament, make sure you have a plan with your teammates, the perfect chemistry and class combos that is best suited for you. Mix in some support, defense, and offensive heroes, for example, Sienna or Momo, Sunil, Maggie, and Ember or M MKR. Prioritize placements in tournaments because kills will naturally come to you towards the end zone. If you are a new player, I would suggest to practice and refine your aim in the TDM mode or a solo mode and then find a team to build a chemistry with if you're looking into grinding a rank or scrims. The flamethrower vehicle has a boost mode on the top right of your HUD, making it the number one fastest car in the game. I know that Lampton map is kind of boring for a lot of players, but it is the best for ranking up fast because it rewards you the most points per win. One versus one and a TDM mode is the best way to warm up before your rank game, so make 
sure you put in the rounds before your game. Treasure War and Hunt Mode is a lot of fun, but they also they reward a lot of gold for you to be able to buy heroes and finish a battle pass missions. If you have doubt or you're not familiar with a hero or weapon, try them out in the training ground where everything is unlocked, even the Iron Man suit. If you want to test some vehicles out, then jump into the vehicle mayhem and relive the Twisted Metal days. Maximize the chance of winning in tournaments by entering tournaments that are not too full in player capacity and win diamonds and cash. If you can enter tournaments once or twice a day, you'll guarantee to win some gold and some diamonds every day. Get free diamonds and gold by redeeming CD key gift codes every weekend from the official Farlight84 YouTube streams. Make sure to exchange your fireworks for daily awesome rewards and gold. Did you guys know that each hero has a backstory and lore? Yes, check them out in the hero section top right. If you buy the battle pass, you'll gain enough diamonds when you complete it to buy the next one, so it's definitely worth it. Remember that the kill feat is your best friend. Always uh, keep an eye and be aware on who's you, who's in your game, especially if it's in rank. Try to make it a habit to aim for the head at, as the headshot damage multiplies every time. 75 tips, absolutely unbelievable. Guys, if you made it this far, please don't forget to hit that like and a sub button and let's get right into the video. If you can master a four finger HUD, it will definitely take you a long way and you will and you will win more of your engagements. We know that the Farlight 84 Steam version is in beta, so you can't buy anything, but there is a way around it. If you log in on your phone with your email or a Steam account, you can buy everything then hop back on PC. Choose three heroes to main and grind their mastery points for extra lore and rewards in the future. Practice your sniping abilities because weapon switching is so fast in this game and the bar sniper does mega damage. So being able to land a shot then switching to AR will definitely get you a knock. Utilizing Lucenda's ultimate and second abilities by pulling your enemies into the fire. Most heroes, if not all heroes ability work in unison, so make sure to use them together. Phantom's scout ability reveals the enemies for you and your whole team, so use it, so use it every time you get the chance. Keep in mind that two different modes are available on the leaderboards, Battle Royale and Hunt. So if you can make it on the top 10 with your TikTok or YouTube at the end of your name to get more eyes into your so to your social media. Try to finish an ace or legend rank to get the best rewards in game at the end of the season. Complete your daily and week weekly challenges to get extra gold and rewards. You can now use stickers in pre-lobby and in game if you look at the bottom left or the top right of your HUD. You can set your favorite hero as your default lobby hero in the hero tab by clicking the bottom left select button. The blazing storm generator and boom apocalypse lucky draw is the are the best and the cheapest draws in the game, so I would suggest going for them first. Did you know that you guys can organize and change your medals in your profile to show them off? You can view your seasons, kills, and wins in your profile. Get extra diamonds by linking all of five of your platforms to your account. Have you ever played with a random and said, oh my god, he's good, how can I add him? You can actually add randoms you played with by clicking by your battle record history. You can replay tournaments if you want to study a team or learn about strategy strategy. Equip your stickers and trailers in the warehouse section. Tanel and Young both have jump pad skills and they make a good team composition if used together. Shotguns are underutilized because of their tight bullet spread but if you actually ADS you'll hit more shots than you would miss. Proximity chat does exist in Farlight so if you want some funny clips then keep your in-game mic on on all time. How to gain extra diamonds? Why not join the Farlight 84 content creator program and get rewards since the requirements are very low and that is 100 tips and tricks for you guys i hope you guys learned and enjoyed i hope you guys found them useful and please comment below which one which tip or trick is your favorite in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to hit that like and sub button for the almighty algorithm gods and i'll see your beautiful faces in my next video